What's going on, America? This is Kevin from Kevin's Corner, where I try to make sense out of nonsense. And what doesn't make sense to me is last night I was on the Will Johnson show, and it was his brother from Tijuana, Mexico, and he was telling us how everything on the border, what we hear in the news, uh, is not being reported correctly. He was saying that there's a full-blown operation going on down there at the border with quote unquote volunteers uh, people who come down there talking about I'm a lawyer just volunteering donating my time to here help these people just get their mind right and help them understand which direction they might want to go in uh, the translation of that is we're down here coaching these people how to go through our borders without being accosted um, and so my question is why aren't these people being held accountable I mean, can we run a sting operation? Something. Send a couple people down there undercover. Yeah, man, uh, my name is Jose. I'm trying to get into America. Okay, this is what you got to do. All you need to do is that, okay, take them away, boys. You're under arrest. See, we need to do something to expose and hold those people accountable who are encouraging these people to violate our border laws. I mean, obviously, the Democrats aren't going to do it. Uh, you know, they probably done employed most of these people. We'll set up a GoFundMe on the back end, pay you, make sure you do our will, and uh, you can walk away clean. So, um, so now the immigration problem continues to to fester, and, and and it's being covered because the liberal media and the Democrats are running interference for the whole operation. To be honest with you, and then they have the nerve to say to Donald Trump or at least on TV, him suggesting bringing all these illegal immigrants in, across these borders and taking them to these sanctuary cities, he's, he's breaking the law. He's breaking the law. Now, I'm thinking to myself, who are y'all to talk about breaking laws when the fact that y'all encourage illegal immigration is breaking the law? They come over here, the first thing they do is break the law when they come across our border. Um, and so now, when Trump suggests... All I'm doing is giving y'all what y'all want. And my thought is if borders aren't even respected, then how can Donald Trump be breaking the law by just busting these people across the states uh, right into these sanctuary cities? Because if they're going to whine about crossing the state boundaries and putting them in other states, but ain't going to whine about them crossing our national border and coming into our country, then shut up. You know, my whole thing is this. Why don't we just throw away the states and have one big uh, national uh, country with no borders and uh, no state lines, nothing. Uh, there's no Pennsylvania. There's no Michigan. None of that. I just walk all over the United States. Uh, I can walk 70,000 miles and still be in the United States because, you know, I'm not going to see why I walked here and went to uh, Pittsburgh. No, no. Yeah, nah, nah. uh, it's just the United States. We're just here in the United States. But now, all of a sudden, they want to worry about details. They want to worry about rules. Oh, look, uh, you can't take them across the state lines and this and that. No, uh, you let them come across the national lines. So what's the problem with the state lines? I don't understand. But see, I got a solution for the whole thing. Uh, maybe we're looking at it just too wrong. Because, see, we all know that the Democrats have a big goal and objective. And sometimes you have to do things to expose them. I always will say... If all of these illegal immigrants were coming across and we're saying we're coming over here because we love Donald Trump and we want to be a part of America under his presidency because he got the right stuff. And um, not to mention, you know, we're, we're all going to register conservatives or Republicans when we get here and get our citizenship. Do you think that the Democrats will still be talking about? Why is he demonizing these people? They're coming over here just wanting a better life and he's ripping the babies away from their parents. No, they wouldn't be saying that. They would be going down there and all you would hear, it would sound like Velcro. They would be ripping the kids from the parents. Give me this baby and yoking them back across the border. You would hear them up all night long, building a wall all night long, all night. Yeah, they'd be down there with Lionel Richie. Well, my friends, the time has come. Go back to Mexico and have some fun. They would be down there building a the wall themselves with their bare knuckles. So we all know the diabolical scheme. Get them over here. Let's embrace them. 
Tell them we were the champions for them fighting for you guys to come over here. Yeah, unlike those wicked, dirty, nasty, uh, racist Republicans and conservatives. No, we're the ones that love you. So I wonder what would happen if we just flipped it on them and start saying, you know what? Let's send a whole bunch of Republican representatives or conservatives down there and welcome them in and say, hey, look, we want to bring you guys on in. We're having a big Republican or conservative convention. Bring your kids. We want you to come in. We're going to get you registered. OK, while we're filling out your amnesty paperwork or your asylum paperwork, we're also going to talk to you about the, the National Republican Party and the benefits to you. You know, by registering as a Republican, because we're going to give you amnesty. We look out for you. Those Democrats, they just want to use you. That's all they want to do. They just want to use you and so on and so forth. But we're going to fight for your rights, because when you get amnesty, you're going to get your equal pay. You're going to be recognized as a citizen. Uh, you know, and when you get your asylum, you're going to be recognized as a citizen, all that stuff. And and we want you to hang out. We're going to go ahead and throw this big old rally inside of uh, like the Dallas uh, Stadium. Uh, and we welcome all the illegals. Come on in. We'll show you what real love looks like and uh, your kids. Don't worry about the kids. We have like playpen set up and we got um, bars and you got a little pet and zoo, pet and zoo. We're going to take them over there to can pet the donkeys while we walk you around and get to know you guys. Huh? Yeah. I think the Democrats will have a problem. Look at them. They're trying to use these people. They're bringing them in, snuggling up to them because they really want them to vote for them and so on and so forth. That's what they're doing. Uh, these people need to go back to where they came from because this is illegal. This right here is unprecedented. Yeah, they would go off if we flipped it and just said, OK, they're thinking they're going to get all 22 million or so illegal immigrants on the side by giving them some type of amnesty or citizenship eventually. No, no, we're going to love on them. Bring them on over. Uh huh. Then all of a sudden it won't be about humanitarian issues anymore. It won't be about <clears throat> making a better life for them. It will be about they're trying to get them over here for votes and they're just snuggling up to them. They're using them. These people need to go back because we want to observe the law. See, you always got to do stuff like that to expose the hypocrisy of the Democrats. Now, you've been listening to Kevin and Kevin's Corner. Check me out every Wednesday night, 730 live in Kevin's Corner on my YouTube channel. Also on my blog talk show. And don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe and the notification button. Check out Extreme Tees. You'll love their products. Uh, if you go on their pro, uh, if you go on their website and you like something, put Kevin in the promo code and you'll get twenty percent discount. Sweet. And also, um, if you want to donate to Kevin in Kevin's Corner, there's a link in the bottom of this video. And find me on Facebook and on the Twitter. God bless. See you next time at Kevin's Corner.